I was born with a strange gift. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. Remember who I am. If I had to say how it all began, I might just as well start here. Okay, so not a very good opening, but I found okay. You. Oh my god, we're playing another one of these. Fuck, man. I thought maybe the movement would be better or faster or something. Just. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's some building blocks on the table in the other room. I think you can make them fall over. Oh, yeah, that we can do. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Whoa. Good, Jody. That was Anything a slow else in the room you can I'm sorry, but I'm done. Okay, Jody, honey, the experiment is over. It's locked. The door's locked! Whoa! That's because I locked the door. Whoa! Just a moment. I'm not stuck in here with you. Calm down, Kathleen. Go get the door. Ah, I'm hitting your bag. Whoa! Ah, this is the best game. This is the best game. Oh man, it's Ghost Simulator. This is great. All right, here we go. I'm gonna knock over your water bottle. <laughs> You're spooked now. <laughs> no, I refuse. No. You're only just figuring this out now? Like, where did they pick you up, Karen? Like, what the hell? Aha, your paperwork. Now you have to clean it up. Spooky. Jody. It's over, Jody. It's over. It's over. Wait, no, no one cares about Karen? Like, It'll never be over. Karen just had the, ha the harrowing experience here. <laughs> well, that was fun. This is the best one so far. You know what you have to do. Uh, Ambassador. No, I don't. You're a sight for sore eyes. I, no, I don't, though. I, I, I need do to find a quiet place. All right. How do I become the ghost again? Yes. All right. Here we go. All right. This is the whole game. No, let's knock some shit over. What are we doing? You went to the zoo the other day. How was it? Only one animal. Just a dog. It was a shih tzu. Looking good, Jody. Alright, I don't think we should go out yet. I feel like you need a minute. You wouldn't believe the dump I just took. We need to go. We need to go right now. Everyone, this is Jody. She's Did we not go in this room? Four with my mom. Unit four? The paranormal department. Ooh, what you do there? Ben Spoon just speak to dead people? No. Stuff like that? No. Oh, no. we're getting bullied by the guy with the fucking beer, Ash Ketchum hat? Shutters, like, come on. Who doesn't even go into my room anymore? She's totally oblivious. Kirsten, you're a genius. <laughs> country. Oh, fuck yeah. Country. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Garbage is that? It's country music. Right over. We've known something from this century. Something really popping. No, I don't like it. I'm turning the country back on. What the? All right, you're the. One. Why are you? Why are you walking? Where are you going? All right, you're the one that turned the music off, right? All right, here we go. Someone just crank up the air conditioner. I just got a cold blast. Oh, first time, huh? It got me that way too. 
What is this guy's voice? Can I ask you something? Is it why can't you leave the base? Because that's the only why thing you asked. For? Okay, that's kind of related. A bit truth. I sort of. I have a gift. A link with an entity. <laughs> All right. An entity? You mean you mean a ghost or something like that? Well, this is gonna sound. Why would you go for ghosts? Really crazy, but. What? Who just jumps to ghosts? Kind of like a, like an invisible presence that follows me. Is it? Uh, is it here now? Yeah. Evasive kidding. Sincere. Yeah. Yeah. You want to see? Yeah. He's he's listening to us. Oh, slow dance. Are you, you up for it? Yeah, that's what you want to do right after you learn that there's a ghost. Okay, sure. Yeah, sure. why not? Yeah, let's go dance. I'm sure you hear this all the time, but... There's really no such thing as ghosts. Ironic. Mutual. This... Ironic. Do you say that to all the girls you meet? Yep. Yeah, that was an ironic line. You're not like other girls. I mean, there's... There's something special about you. Yeah, you can see ghosts. Ironic. I guess you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? <laughs> no, Great no, idea. no, I... I'd pay to see that. <laughs> oh, forget it, it's just a little bowl. <laughs> Come on, Jody, show us what you can do. Okay, Jody, you up for demonstration? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Oh. Shit, that's pretty scary. Ooh. Ooh. There, I saw something. I'm gonna move the chair. Ooh, I moved the chair. Ooh, now I'm gonna put the country music back on. Yeah. No, no, not this. Oh God damn, I'm close enough. All right, now I'm gonna. Okay, I've had enough. Yeah, me too. Uh, that that was really scary. <laughs> I didn't mean to, to frighten anyone. I did. Right, okay guys, it's time to eat that delicious cake and most important to open my birthday gifts. Oh, Kirsten doesn't care anymore. Kirsten's like, fuck it, let's eat some cake. Confirmation of Actually, ghosts? The cake can eh, I'm whatever. My gifts. That's funky. It's a really rare collection of uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. Who? Edgar Allan who? What, did you steal this from your grandpa's library? <laughs> no, no, and it's- Yeah, she's a slut. A slut and a witch. We should, like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. This is plausible. Ah! Wait, wait, what? Please, please let me out! We got Harry Potter. Why would you mess with someone who has ghost powers? Reve oh, revenge for sure. Go widen. Rip and tear. They'll be bad, but you'll be worse. Rip and tear. <laughs> Your birthday's ruined. The cake is gone. I didn't do it this time. You were going to eat that delicious cake, but now you can't because of me, the ghost. And now the country music is back. Don't be ridiculous. The door, it won't open. It's impossible. Try harder. I'm telling you, it's locked. Keep calm. There's, there's no reason. Oh, whoa, there was someone under there. I know there's someone here. Get out of here. Now to get rid of all your duck soup. Oh, we'll pop the balloons. That'll show them. No balloons for you. <laughs> Enough, I don't. We're in the place now. No. No, it's, they haven't. On, no. No, they have not. Nope. Who did that? I said that's enough. Who did that? Come back. We're leaving. Nope. Let's get a knife. Yes. Yes. We got him. Now turn the gas on. Alright, now put some duck soup on what there. What are you doing, Aiden? You're 
going too far. You've got to stop. <laughs> All right, I think, I think we got him, right? Oh, wait, you're still alive. One second. It wasn't me. Damn, sick party. Willem knew this would happen. He knew. He set us up with that Edgar Allan Poe book. When the action is in slow motion, follow Jody's movement direction to finish her move. Alright, I'm sure this is always going to make sense and be intuitive. Always. Yeah, there we go. Alright. I did it down. I did it down. I did it down. Okay, did, didn't did she not duck under the swing like that when we were in the tutorial? Didn't she not, did, it, did not teach us to duck under that? There it is. Okay, it just looks exactly like Start it. Again. Okay, cool. wasn't gonna work why did you go X is the takedown prompt why did it do anything if it wasn't going to work bang Woo. Fuck. do we have to spend the whole fucking night here why did you get up Let's while we were ghosting again. Hey, watch out! Okay, well, what was that? Hurry Up? Down. Because Police. so far, the other ones have been, like, camera sensitive, so she's going toward us, so it would be down, right? But no, that one was... Uh, okay, I fucking hate this. I hate this so much. Can I move around them? Oh, what? This fucking... What? Oh no, not dogs. Oh, it's a helicopter! Nice. Cross it off the bingo. Oh, fuck. The helicopter will end up being useless. Burr, burr. Hold your positions. She won't surrender. What the fuck? Hold your fuck! <laughs> Iden, they're coming! Keep them off me! <laughs> Iden, close the door. Iden, get me something out of this vending machine. Iden, I don't know the way around. Can you show me what to do? Iden, Iden. Iden, quick! Create a diversion. Blast the cars. Iden, I forgot my Facebook password. What is it? Can I have a cookie? It's almost dinner time, sweetheart. If you eat a cookie now, you won't eat your dinner. Yeah, you won't. You won't. Yeah, piece of shit kid. Yeah, you won't. Yeah, you you tell her. Fucking tell. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. You know what you have to do now, Jody. Now we have to go find the matches. And then we burn them. We burn them all. What the fuck is this? Why is this here? Cause like, directly across from the door too. It's like, okay, time to go to the garage to get something. Going through the door. Oh look, creepy fucking glow in the dark mannequin. All right, awesome. Okay, so um, I'm enjoying the game so far, but uh, I was also enjoying uh, Indigo Prophecy and um, Heavy Rain up until this point too. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm interested to see where it goes. I don't really see how it could go anywhere, but um, I'm sure it'll go off the rails. Like there's some some big end of the world thing going on that that Aiden's going to be involved with, and oh no, N now we have to sever the link between the two souls or some shit or like I don't know. I guess we'll we'll find out. The DPA has launched a program to study the other side, the infra world as they call it. 
They've created a condenser. The upside down. To open a rift to what lies beyond. All right, here we go. They've opened a passage. <laughs> to Iden's world. <laughs> Something happened last night. Entities got through the rift, and we couldn't shut down the condenser. <laughs> Everybody in the building was slaughtered. None of the rescue teams. <laughs> Five seconds later in the. <laughs> when I was a kid, uh, we lived in an apartment building. And uh, we were fairly high up in the apartment building. And uh, what I used to do was I used to um, hit call the elevator. And then I would time it. So as soon as the elevator door opened, I, I would jump through the door onto the elevator. Like this was something I practiced a lot. And then one day my dad saw me do it. And he was like, you really shouldn't do that. And I was like, I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, what if the elevator door opened and the elevator wasn't there? And I was like, no, that can't happen. That can't happen. And he was like, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, 20 years later, uh, we're living in this this other apartment building, and um, and uh, the elevator was so fucked up in in this building that it actually did happen, like more than once. I called that elevator, and the door opened, and there was just no elevator. <laughs> Sometimes the elevator would be like, halfway down or up. <laughs> like there! That was down while she was like moving up. Like, what the fuck was that? Where does this guy come from? Let's see. Is he just- is he in the fire and he's like, possessed? <laughs> Reloading was worth, man. Reloading was worth! That one's gonna move. This one's gonna move. I've never been more wrong. Oh no! Alright, technically I was right. He did get up. did it. I'm sure they won't try this again. Hey, boy. Hey. Problems with the law, huh? Nah, it's like, it's none of my goddamn business. As long as you ain't killed somebody, it's fine by me. Bum, 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 ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba <laughs> Is that a flu shot? Wait, what? Whoa. Did you just inject yourself through your glove in the palm of your hand? Alright then. Okay, alright. I'm leaving. Bye. Simple, incriminating, sincere, amusing, incriminating. Fuck it. On the run from the cops, please spare some change. <laughs> no, what? Jimmy? Are, are you okay? I'm cold. I'm so fucking cold. Uh, Aiden's fucking with him. Drugs. All right, that was an interaction. How about you, Jody? Fucked up. You haven't said much about yourself. 
I'm a witcher. How did you end up on the street? Ever since I was born, I've been linked to an entity. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. He's always with me. <laughs> the blinking. Did someone else help write this? It just feels like... It just feels like a completely different game. And then all of a sudden, here's a slice of cage. Just boom. No context. No thought in the delivery. Nothing. Just dump. You know? Just like... <laughs> right now looks like Jimmy and the only one with a drug problem yep that's the right answer there stop doing the drugs thanks thanks I'm cured Oh, please don't let you use your superpowers on the on the, the baby. Do you want to know how you can Oh my god. Everything's all right. What are you doing? Trust me. I think this is this is the most I've ever cringed on stream. I'm not okay right now. Oh my god, I'm so uncomfortable. Oh. Oh. Jody, stop it. That's not funny. It's been a long time, Stan. Oh. Four long years. <sighs> I'm biting my forearm. In the past, Stan. What do her eyes keep rolling down and then back up again? But now you have to start a new life. Go back to work. Fall in love. Just <laughs> for me, Stan. Why not lead with, hey look, my ghost buddy's gonna knock something off the table? Alright, there you go. Now I'm gonna do this inappropriate personal shit. Damn miracle. Jody. Don't say thanks. Thanks, thanks Kate. Jody, come on. We gotta go get everything we need. Now you girl. Don't be having no baby till we get back, alright? Well, I am trying. It's first baby. It's... You better damn well hurry. What? It's gonna be like 18 hours. What do you mean we have to hurry? It's first baby. Jody, like, we have on. so much time. Go back to sleep. Once again, I feel compelled to point out that this would be a very interesting interlude, like like a moment, like in the middle of the story, or maybe like like between the second and third act. You know, as a break of like here here we're gonna meet some new characters a bit, and we're gonna go through a new experience while while you know like the lowest moment turns into like a little a story thing that's unrelated, right? But the fact that it's non-linear and it's right now 
It's just like, like, what the fuck? It, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, the first playthrough, I have no idea. But I'm starting to wonder if this was once a linear story. And then, like, toward the end, you know, he's like, ha ah, you know, you know what I could do? I, I, I could, you know, crack the story and scramble it and pass it off as profound. Delightfully devilish, David Cage. Like, 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 it really feels like that right now. I don't know. I don't know if it is. Like, we'll find out. But, like... <laughs> To me. Huh? <laughs> Aiden, do you know how to deliver a baby? Whoa. Okay, guide me through it. Whoa. Thank you, Aiden. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Especially Enjoy. you, Jody. You're a miracle, Jody. Our miracle. Tuesday could probably use some of Aiden's magical healing right now, Jody. You're being pretty fucking inconsiderate. So could Stan, actually. Walt has probably got a bad back. Like, let's go. Like, what are we doing? What? Was her nose bleeding? Did Aiden do this? Stan, Stan, wake up! What the? Oh, God. Where are the others? Walter's on this floor, Jimmy. And Tuesday and Zoe are upstairs. Get out of here, I'll go get them. No, 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 come on. Wait, did this no, no, just I'm happen? <laughs> what is in this building? Do your shield and jump. Oh, it was right, not up. Okay. Okay, well that time there wasn't even a prompt there. Alright, so we died. Cool. How do you get up the stairs? Baby model? Let me see her. Just one. That's my baby. Bring her back. I changed my mind. I want that baby. So take her quickly. Please. Get the oh, baby I out of here. See her. Was that David Cage? Showing me this. Is she, is she my mother? <laughs> what? What fucking fresh X Men bullshit is this? What? Concussions and skull fractures. Been in a coma for several months. Can we see her? No. We're with the CIA. This girl is wanted for treason. <laughs> Quick, out the window. Wait, hide under the bed. There's no way they'll find you. Oh, she's dead. Okay, are they ever gonna explain how she- No, no, she just- she's just like, no, okay, okay. Like other girls. I said no, end of story. Please, Nathan, just this once. All the other girls in my class are- I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> it's just we went, we went from ghost bullshit to from being homeless on the run, CIA killing people. It's just like, oh no, time for the the teenage goth emo face. <laughs> this this is the next scene. Is Aiden a goth ghost behind her too? Like, yeah, here we go. I, I, Aiden has, Aiden's dyed his spectral wavings. 
Damn, now, now that is an emo throw blanket. Oh, more than one! Man, imagine seeing someone like that and being like, you, you know what? One of those isn't enough. It's Saturday night, and I'm locked up in here! Come on, I just want to go out and have some fun! I can't do it, babe. Rules are rules. Babe? Please. Babe? Why isn't Cole saying Hello, anything? Cole. Cat got your tongue? Yes. Mm -hmm. Speak. It is I, Cole. Uh... He lost. He, he lost his voice. I think it's like a a virus or something. I, that's more than that's more than I've gotten out of him all all day long. So. It's not contagious, buddy. <laughs> so you should be home in bed if you ask me. <laughs> Safer for all of us. <laughs> Alright, well. See ya. <laughs> Go on now. <laughs> does Aiden know how to drive? Of course he does. Aiden can do anything. Aiden knows how to fly a plane. Later, Aiden knows how to drive a helicopter. Here we go. Aiden, we need to do emergency surgery. I'm Don't worry, I'm on it. Exit. Start. We mean what? All right, go in. Go in the trunk. No. 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 That's not the most glamorous. No. But it'll do. Okay. All right. So what was so important for going out tonight? This is the place. All right, we're here at the red the house. Must be inside already. Oh no! This we're is not. Here yet. This is not the place. We'll wait. Will we? All right. We need to go. We need to go, right now. We need to leave right out the door. We're not even paying for lemonade. We're just going right out the door. Wait, are they outside? Where did they go? Hold on. Let's check with our ghost powers. Oh, we can't because that would ruin the suspense. All right, cool. Thank you, David Cage. Thank you for giving me ghost powers and then lo not letting me use them. Maybe they didn't go outside. Maybe they went somewhere else. Let's just leave. We didn't pay for our lemonade. Leave. St leave. Yeah, let's go. Didn't pay for a lemonade. How are we seeing this? I told you not to go, and you disobeyed me. Oh, that—that—that's it. You know that's the whole that scene. Underscore. Oh, we skipped a lot. All right. Um, I don't know if we should reload that. I think that was going to be pretty yikes. Pretty good scale on the horses. Horses are fucking huge, man. First time you see a horse in person, you're like, oh my god, media did not prepare me for this moment. I, I have nowhere else to go, and look, I promise I will be gone by morning. I told you you can't stay here. Can I have some water? You need to leave now. Oh no. This is the uh, first ranch that I've seen in... <laughs> happening is it the wild hunt oh. it's late Jay will uh show you to your room what what's Night. what's happening are you coming I want to see outside oh they're ghost proof 
The Wild Hunt. Alright, can we talk about what happened last night? N no? We just leave? We just leave. Alright. Are we not gonna talk about s spooky window cover? No, we're not. No? Okay. Damn, good thing you put those boards on the window. You can't get us in here, it's made of wood. Them's the rules. Oh no! Man, Groot is pissed. I wasn't expecting this to be more batshit than Indigo Prophecy, but it's, it's kind of getting there. He wants blood. That's all he's interested in. <laughs> it's, it's all he talks about. We can't do anything about it. <laughs> Try to bring anything up with him? We can't fight his spirit. He just brings it back to blood. It's like Dragon's Den with Genshin Impact. It feels like you're running away from something. I guess I'm just trying to forget. Yep. You know, make a new start. That was the truth. That wasn't the evade option. Hey, just... You also have your dark secret, don't you, Jody? <laughs> I am. Um... Can you imagine if David Cage liked games instead of movies? Damn. The shit that could have gone on. How is this connected to, to Willem Dafoe? Like, is the... Are we finding more about the spirit world that exists around the whole planet? Or is this just, like, a fucking three-hour vignette? Like, I don't... Like, what what the fuck is this? Do you know how in movies when they characters have that moment where they deviate from the main story and they go off and have, like, a little brief adventure and they learn something about it? Yeah. All right, well, let's have three of those. Okay, cool. Are we going to show what happens before What's that so we have context? No. No way. Just gonna take that. That's for me. All right. What could go wrong? Oh, he's dead. Did you take some talismans out of the ground? That kills Paw. Those talismans were the only thing keeping us safe. Oh, the fifth talisman. You can talk. You can talk. We need a fifth soul to complete the ritual. Wait, I have two souls. Wait, the dog. Get the dog. Fuck. Damn, that's why it's called Beyond Two Souls. So bored. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so bored. It's, just, it's not good. I'll never forget you, Corey. Oh, that's his name, Corey. Alright. Do 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 the stealth bike. Oh, they're alive! Damn. Did that? I, I can't tell if that was a glitch. <laughs> I can't tell if that was on purpose. Jody? Jody, you have to join Can the you CIA come here, please? now. Sorry, it's out of our hands. Why do you hold the door? Okay, here we go. Sorry, Jody. 
That's just how it is. Yeah, I'm just shitting out all over the... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just non-stop. This is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. Hey. The agents... It's the agency you. wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. No one can tell me what to do with my life. Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting. You're joining right? the CIA, you CIA and, and that's final. You want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told. Yeah, you're an agent now. That's it. That's how it works. Where's the bunny? Where's Bunny Gruff? <laughs> bunny Gruff is essential. Where's Bunny Gruff? My god, what if they take Bunny away? Yeah, we're taking the Bunny. Alright, what else are we taking? That's it. That's all I give a shit about. I'm just taking the Bunny. Alright, here we go. I'm sure you'll be great. Fuck you, Cole. Damn. <laughs> I missed the hell out of you, princess. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Wait, are we fucking Ryan now? Because oh, if we're fucking Ryan, I have a really important question. Who the no, fuck what, is Ryan? Just... I'm not yours, Aiden. I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Oh, do you fucking hear me? Oh. This is my life. What? You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. He's charming. He's intelligent. He's funny. He kidnapped me from my old home. And I... I think I'm falling for him. What? Why would he even consider you a valid romantic prospect after how you met and you, you sniveling and crying and no, I don't want to join the CIA and stop your adolescent bullshit and oh, here's your bag with your fucking bunny rabbit. Like, like what? That's creepy. What the fuck? Ryan? Nice. This was a necessary shot. Damn. He really is the Tarantino of games. All right. Let's clean up all this junk food. Oh, no, no, there were some crumbs. Is this why she's on the run? Because Ryan this saw how she lives? Kitchen. Wait, you're not going to recycle? That's why she's on the run. Wow, they actually had a folding animation for the box. Nice. Can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. All right, here we go. Let's read it. Okay. Asian beef. Oh, I mean, that looks good. I don't know what's in the fridge. It's not too complicated. I don't know what's in the fridge. I don't know what's in the fridge! Uh, fucking, fucking curry. Curry. Yeah, chicken curry? Yeah, let's do it. A little down-home flavor? I mean, he's gonna love that. Yeah, he's gonna love it. Alright, here yeah, we go. Where's this fridge I keep hearing so much about? Alright, here's the fridge. Okay. What, what fucking size of the fridge? Okay, here we go. Let's go. Get the fucking ingredients. Let's go. Come on. Alright, peel the onion. No, you don't, you don't start crying until you cut it. What the fuck, Cage? Are you human? You, it doesn't... Onions don't work like that! Take the bones out. You're just gonna stick whole chicken bones into a bowl and that's the curry? There we go. Don't Please don't eat it. Please. So far, so good. You just handled raw chicken. I, I hope you die. I hope you die. Let's go take some fucking pain medication now that we've had some alcohol. Where is it? Where's the headache meds? I'm so angry. I'm fucking livid right now. Okay, here we go. There we go, chicken curry, done. If she puts this fucking thing just right in the oven. Where'd all that come from? Now we do the salt. Alright. What? No, salt. What the fuck? Salt, okay. Alright, up and down. Alright, fuck it, that's gonna be fine. All right, now let's go have a shower while that's cooking, and hopefully we won't die. There's there's no knob. There's there's literally no knob there. No. Oh no! You don't need him. You have me. That's not creepy. Oh, I wonder who wrote this. hell we're not sitting watching tv clean up your mess on the table what the fuck even is this no we're just gonna let him see our collection of plastic trays and glasses on this table that's it we can't clean this up 
All right. God, I'm such a parent. Fucking hell. Clean up your books. What are you doing? You want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. Yay. Oh, no, I fucked it up. Shit, I've... <laughs> All right, third time's the charm. Is he gonna take it away from, look at his face. All right, here we go. Yeah, we did it. Nice. Oh, it's um, a chicken curry with oven baked vegetables. Wait, is she just holding it um, with her hands? That's what it's supposed to be. So. How, what, I didn't know you cooked. Are your hands great. just burning right now? What, woo, woo, woo. Oh. Man, I'm so conflicted because like, I feel bad for Jody, but at the same time, He's a fucking asshole, and I just like I don't I mean, know like I, I don't oh man like he knows who God. or what he is. ah fuck it. Which means none of our humanitarian aid is getting through. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. Yep. He relocates. Humanitarian aid. Death. Last time we picked those good guys at the CIA. Nazi Do it, Jody, for the humanitarian mm -hmm. aid. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> How stealthy. This just keeps going, huh? Okay. Yeah, aerial takedown. What, that's it? Understand a word you're saying. Salim. Yeah. Salim. We were the right person for this job. Are we going to the target and the kid's going to be like, that's my dad or some shit? Like, no, oh no, it's still going. Oh, I thought we were going to cut to a different scene and we would do the, next, uh, the rest of it later. All right, cool. I'm so fucking happy that this is going on. Remember that time in the David Cage game where, where it made you fight through a war zone with a child soldier? Yeah. Def definitely a high moment of the David Cage game series. يبدو أننا سنتلقى تعزيزات. ما أترجو المدججين بقذفات الصواريخ. سأجعل ذلك. sunglasses on oh please put the sunglasses on yes just nod 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 what oh uh. okay Good, good to see you. What's the password? That's correct. Staying silent is the password. Come on in. This is where we have to go our separate ways. Okay, he doesn't understand I you. Must go. He still doesn't understand you. Do you understand something? No. Nope. <laughs> Not even a little bit. I'm sorry, but you can't. Come. You're really brave, Salim. Someday, 
This is all gonna be over. Um. And you can just go back to being a kid. What? Jamal was around here somewhere. I don't have much time. He clearly knows nothing about. I don't know anything about it. Like what? Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh my! Oh, it hurts! Oh no! Okay, good. All right, phew. That was a close one. Why don't we just choke kill him? Just ghost choke him. Reach in and stop his heart with your ghost hand. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Don't stop. You're close. So what? Alright, do I blow up the house? Alright. If this says bonus unlock. Why did we possess the only one who doesn't have a weapon? He has a weapon? Oh, does he have a weapon? No. Okay. Well, th there was a good choice there, though. He has a weapon. He has a weapon. He has a weapon. Hello. I guess we chose the person with sunglasses on. So no one notices. But why don't why don't we just choke him? I don't understand. I can kill him. Right, why, why did we continue killing the others, though? We only needed to kill... Okay, we're still going. We're still... <laughs> Nice. Uh oh. Abby, la, la damuja, Abby. I feel bad for what the game made me do. Good work. Now the humanitarian aid can get through. Listen, I know this one was tough, but it's over. Going home. Just another mission accomplished, right? I'll never forget what I saw back there, right? Never. Ryan, like, you- wait, what? Like, how, how can you be so dumb? Like, even if you disagree with her reaction to what she did, like, she still got shot Absolutely. twice. How are you this stupid? The international community had just announced its official recognition of the election of the new president, Jamal Sheikh Sharif. And now, sources report that he and all his government were assassinated in what appears to be an unclaimed um, attack. You have to find Jamal um, and eliminate him. Hopes were high that the newly recognized president, <laughs> Jamal Sharif, would be able to put... <laughs> <laughs> like you didn't look it up for anything like you didn't like you just like oh okay like like uh, what hey ryan this is kind of weird right you lied to me nah what are you talking about jamal wasn't a warlord he was the president he was the democratically elected president. The point? <laughs> We're not politicians. We had our orders. You knew I wouldn't have murdered him. So you lied to me. Welcome to the CIA, Jody. <laughs> not fucking choir practice in case you haven't noticed. No one's ever gonna lie to me again, Ryan. Jody! 
Just, just peace this out. Yeah, whatever, I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, Elliot Page sitting there with David Cage, and, and they're going through the script reading everything. Undiscovered Path. And, uh, it's like, so, like, this, this is a big moment for my character, you know? She doesn't, like, look up, uh... Any, any information about about her target you know like she she doesn't like have any reservations she doesn't like make sure that he's a real bad guy to like give herself more of an edge and motivation to to go after and do what and do what they say and david cage is like jody's kind of dumb <laughs> uh there's some bad scenes in heavy rain but that the, the last scene um uh like was offensive. <laughs> like, that was really bad. That was really fucking bad. Like holy shit. Like god damn, it's so bad. I'm laughing because it's because I'm like 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 it's awkward. Like I'm cringing. That was so bad. Like holy shit. Just having it be. Jody's face on on the main menu page opening and closing her mouth like a dying fish uh, was a very brave choice. Very brave. We spent way more time getting ready for a date with just the most awful person in the whole story. Um, th that got more time than pretty much anything to do with Jody's powers in the main story. <laughs> All right, here we go. On the day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. Oh, no. According to a file, she should still be there now. Oh, no. How is their power generator? Is it okay? Is it safe? You won't be able to walk right in. Yeah, but I have CIA skills. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. That's why... That's why David Cage did the CIA thing, was so she would have the skills to break into the mental hospital. Okay. <laughs> That's probably why! A huge risk <laughs> Hello. Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Oh, it didn't even occur to me that we would try to go in to see her. I thought we were just gonna jump right to the CIA suction cups on the on the wall. <laughs> Spider-Man your way in, you know? I didn't even think we were just gonna walk in and be like, hey, can I see her? Like <laughs> Can I see her? Hey, we don't know what room she's in. I'll find out. Well, why? We came here. We're fine. We have authorization. What now? I don't. Find a way to open that door. What? Just walk in. What? What's he gonna do? <laughs> you gotta distract the guard first. Ah, oh, that damn button. It's always turning itself on. Dave Norman. <laughs> that, that wouldn't work at all, but okay. Decrease the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness. Destroy this thing, Aiden. Destroy it now! What? Is, is this what David Cage thinks the mental illness looks like? Or is she possessed? Or... Like, I'm gonna go with possession, but you know, it's David Cage. I have no- what- what is it? Remember when we died and we went through something like this and then they never brought that up? Like, what? If she's fine now... My little girl... Oh my god. Oh no, the drugs. Just take the IV out. Just take the IV out. What the fuck? Did, 
did we mur we mur we 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 murdered her. I didn't think that w I didn't think that was gonna happen. I we we murdered her. What did we want to murder her? What the f According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infowar. Found a rift. Like, like not, like not, not China or, or like Russia or, or Japan or the Republic of Kazakhstan? What? Team Will. Team? Oh, welcome back, Ryan. Show them in, Marla. Okay. Yay. This makes sense. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. For fuck's sake. Jody, you have all the pull here. You're the only one that can do this shit. Say no, I won't work with them. Bring me literally anyone else. Just an literally anyone else. Jody. Good luck. Jody. My god. My God! Oh, well, this went well. I grew tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. <laughs> but it could have been. <laughs> yep, just gonna turn the C4 off and on. Yep, here we go. Yep, that's C4, alright. Good job. Alright, still working. Hey guys, I checked the C4. Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside. Excuse me? Oh. <laughs> you could have given me like <laughs> days, and I never would have guessed that inside there were gonna be. Fucking submarines! Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they have an underwater base? What about us? It's a two-seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. You could squeeze what? a couple of people order, in there. Nick. Okay, are there like codes to get into the base? Do they let you in? Like how- like, Give me the explosives. This is a dumb plan. There's so much room down here! Oh no, it's a two-seater. No. Okay. Okay, who knows how to pilot a submarine? Oh, Jody does. Okay, of course she does. You do realize we might not make it back alive, Yes, right? that's the important part. Oh, shit, whoops. Oh, oh, no, oh no. Oh, shit. Oh, these rocks, they just come out of nowhere. Fuck. Hey Ryan, remember that time you, you lied to me about assassinating the president of a country? Oh shit. Just no reaction. Just none. Wouldn't this be a good time for a conversation? Like imagine if they hadn't made him a complete fucking scumbag asshole for no reason and they could have some banter back and forth here. What the fuck is this shit? Alright. I <laughs> mean... I hope that's it. I hope how they that's how they got caught. I hope that I hope we 
This isn't a flash forward. Please. <laughs> Please. Not sure helps us. Oh, it wasn't us that did it. It's an it's a it's an anti ghost um door. Okay, well, a uh, veal. Okay, well, it's not in the ceiling. It is in the ceiling. I can go through walls. What the fuck is this? Sh Look, I can go through this. This makes no sense. No sense. Okay, all right, fuck it. All right, can I go through this? Oh wow, of course I can because doors are made of different things. All right, awesome. I love this. I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. That's good. Wow, just no reaction. All right, we did it. Yay! Get me out of here. Then why didn't we just use that on the like? Why did we need a gun? If we're capable of slamming down steel door, we don't need a gun. A gun couldn't do that. <laughs> I'm just imagining the the like one person in chat who thinks like David Cage is awesome and, and these games are great, just sitting there watching these streams the whole time with their arms crossed. <laughs> just the whole time, just like, this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> this part, this part's cool, this part will show him. He's like, yeah, it looks pretty cool, but like, like the rest. <laughs> It's a ghost leviathan. Oh, it even looks like a fish. Oh, fuck. oh Stranger Things music. Oh man, did, did the Dufferin brothers really copy Beyond Two Souls? This is awkward. Okay, I feel like taking off the underwater suit is a bad is a bad decision. Yeah, if only we had kept it on. Oh, we failed. Now she's just gonna teleport back up on top of the ice and be like, sorry, I couldn't do it. He's not going to be in Beyond Three Souls. Oh, he just left us. Yeah, even he hit the rock. Wait, what? What? Oh. Come on, Joey. What? <laughs> Did he just kiss her? I love you, Joey. What? Did you get the asshole kisses you after you've died ending? The asshole kisses you after you've died ending isn't my favorite. Dragon's hideout. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we missed a lot. Shit. So, did they forget to put the scene in where Ryan saves her? Because, like, I don't remember that happening. All right, time for eyes to roll back in the head. It's me, your your wife, daughter, whoever the fuck decides to go for it. All right. Don't be sad, Teddy. You hear me? Stop it right now. We're here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Come on. Laura. I love you, darling. I will always love you. Alright, will I take solace in the fact that I know that when I die, there's an afterlife and I will see them again? Or, or no, no, I will not. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. <laughs> this is the beginning of a new era for our... No life far away. Wait, how is she alive? 
Didn't she die? I guess they brought her back all- did, did I just, like, blank out and miss something? Like, how- like, like, wasn't she dead? Like, and then, like, there was no, like, I'm breathing part, right? Like... <laughs> did, did we all collectively kind of just forget about that together? I was like, oh yeah, okay, now we're here, that makes sense. <laughs> I'll try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. 23 years older than her, by the way. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident. Disappeared? 15 years ago. I wanted to die too. I cried a lot. Hanging my head against the wall, trying to figure out why, why, why them. Okay, I gotta hand it to Willem. That was some really shitty dialogue, but he sold it quite well, huh? That that was actually a pretty good delivery of what is like a <laughs> really bad line. Like, like good job. Never being it. The government gave me everything I needed to study the infra world. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years, but I finally succeeded in creating this. Uh. What? Hello, my darlings. <laughs> out of here you maniac I don't love you anymore daddy because you did this to us why would you think this was okay Nathan look at our faces let us go Nathan you're hurting us you gotta let us go let us die you you're lying Helen did say that you did you're lying! I know they want to be with me again! I know they want to be with me! I know how you feel! You know nothing about how I feel! You hear me? Nothing! Goodbye, Nathan. What? That's it? You're just giving up? I hope you find peace. Well, well I tried. Okay. So, how's this gonna end? Oh no, the CIA lied. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Yep, that's the only solution. Exactly what we did with your mother. Damn. You gotta get rid of these goddamn monsters now! I ought to kill you, McGrath. But the last thing the Infoworld needs is a son of a bitch like you. <laughs> Get out of my way. Yeah, stay in this world. Clayton. Everyone knows Clayton. That's an order. when you die, you become more powerful. <sighs> We're on Star Wars Sorry, logic. He's going to whip out a gun and shoot himself in the head right now and be like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? The portable containment field. Should protect me long enough to reach the condenser and trigger the manual. Okay, there you go. Why didn't you put one of them on her while she has the IV going? And that's why he can't. That's why ghosts can't do it. The answer's in the story. Oh, we put a containment field over her. Now Iden can't save her. Oh no, Iden, you can't save me. Go help. Not. Oh, you're too weak in here, but everywhere else you're fine. Like. Th th that could. Th five seconds! <laughs> More than two. We've gone beyond that. What are we doing down here? It's like, I can't find them. I call them, but they don't come. 
reason. Maybe it's because they don't recognize you anymore. Oh, damn, got him. Your anger has changed you. Yeah, that's what we should be talking about right now. The condenser must be destroyed. You know it's the only way. What? 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 No. 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 <laughs> no. I missed you. I missed you so much. You're the only one who can fix this, Jody. <laughs> Do it. Do it for me. Are we all in the afterlife in the end? Then I thought the prologue he was in the prologue. Is this after the prologue? I'm so confused. Thought these damn bells would be dead. Um. And my containment feels not working. Did she what? turn it off? You sure? Just check the panel. I'm telling you, it's not working. Fuck. The fuck. 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 I the think. I think of something. <laughs> Take the damn belt and destroy the fucking condenser. It's me, Ryan. I care now. All right. Did, really? It, it broke after he said that? Did did Cage thought we needed a reminder? To, oh, we're kissing. All right. Get out of here before okay, change my cool. mind. They're kissing. All right. Here's a reminder that the belts are the only thing keeping them alive. Oh no, the belt. It's broken. Man, this belt's doing jack shit. We inject you with a neuro acid. It will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. Oh, we're still in the coma! You must have fought to sell it. But I do not kiss at you, Oh, God. Give me back my child. Calm down, Nora. I want to see her. Calm down, Nora. Little boy. For God's sake, what's going on? The twin. He strangled him. Oh, for fuck, for I didn't. My twin. That's cool looking. Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. Oh, okay. No, that was the wrong choice. Okay. Sorry. Beyond life. Well, the prologue means we choose life, don't we? So let's go beyond and see if we break it. That's how my story ends. I hope Cole's okay. Not again. No. Quick, next scene, then she'll be fine. Okay, what was the prologue? Oh, I remember now. Okay, I was confused. Lakes, mountains, and rivers. The prologue was her talking at the beginning in this area. Damn, I wish that was a bit more clear. There's no. I watch over those I love. I'd like them to know I'm there. You love Ryan? Oh, Cole lived. That's good. Do you know this whole game is based on uh, this this life experience David Cage had that he got cold in a room once? <laughs> I can see the darkness coming. What darkness? I must stay a while longer. Seems like what we did was pretty inconsequential then. There is still a part to play. Okay. Before I can leave to discover what lies. Beyond? Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Will David Cage ever make a sequel? Oh, the gang stay together. Nice. Sometimes I could spend hours staring into space, but there's one thing I do know it all really happened. 
The voice told me not to tell anyone. Well, what's happening? I'm really scared. But she won't tell me what these things are. And I'm too scared to ask. Awesome. I often have the same dream. Oh, it's still going. Okay. Everything. I must get ready. Fight entities. I know there's not much time. Nice. There's only one thing I can be sure of. Nothing at all. I will never be alone again. Alright. Contest for how bad it could end. <laughs> I was like, it was already pretty bad. But it was like, yeah, okay, whatever. And then that last part was like another drop in a roller coaster after the first drop, like <laughs> into the core of the planet. Like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man. So why didn't they make the next one, Beyond Three Souls? Where, when's that coming out? Do you think that the reason why he didn't make it was because, like, everyone he went to said, No, no, sorry, we can't, we can't have a game called Beyond Two Souls 2. Sorry, that's just a no-go, make something else. But no, I really want to, no, no, we're not doing it. Pick another name. No, that's the name I want. No, then make something else. Alright, so, um, this was pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know how to process that. I don't even know. It's like every David Cage game so far has been just been amazing in different ways. Like the first one just goes off the rails in in just like a, a glorious mess, and then Heavy Rain is just like so many things are set up and then just never resolved. So who gives a shit? And then this game is just so incoherent and all over the place that it's just I'm just astounded. Like I'm literally astounded. I don't even know what to think right now. That was just, just amazing. Like, I don't even know how to process everything that just happened. How did, how did Willem Dafoe still end up being completely irrelevant? And he just goes into, oh, I just, I just have my wife and my daughter stuck in this ghost trap, and it, it took me this long to do it, and I just have kept that like hidden and wrapped up for the whole time I've known you, Jody. And I've been like, yeah, don't worry, you can go and get the condenser if you want. But no, you don't have to if you don't want to. Here's here's fucking Edgar Allan poetry book as you go to your party. B by the way, just living in agony for my for my wife and daughter. Ghost trap time. Like, uh, what? I feel like I didn't like was done dirty too. Like, like there's that reveal and then it's like, okay, who gives a shit? And it's like. Iden doesn't come back or gets to talk or there's no like moment where they can interact or anything that would have been pretty powerful if he's like I can finally talk to you properly and all this other shit and it's like no it's just like no fuck you like like what you know what kills me at some point I know to convince Willem Dafoe and Elliot Page to be on this project that this line was said to them like David Cage is is the Steven Spielberg slash Christopher Nolan of video games and then it's this. I can't. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Advanced experiments. Nah, I'm good. Okay. We build the helicopter. <laughs> and there was this uh, very intense dialogue between Judy and Clayton. So everything was on wheels, and we were moving the helicopter. Because I trust in you. Performance capture. <laughs> <laughs> the trickiest part of performance capture. Alright, that's cool. I mean, you, you can't deny that there's a lot of talent involved in the game. It's it's just the writing just completely lets it all down. I was talking to someone about this yesterday, and I just I just don't... I don't understand how there's just no oversight on that level. When I say oversight, I mean, like, someone more on the team that knows everything that's going on. But, like, when that person is also David Cage... <laughs> you know? <laughs> I just don't... Oh, for fuck's sake, how, how does it happen? Just shit like this makes me think that, like, like the world doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's like, it me like, like a crisis of society. <laughs> like, how does this happen? <laughs> how can you have so much talent, so much money, so much faith, so much, like, like, 
heart and soul poured into something, and then just one guy is like, nah, like how, how does it happen with just no oversight? Like what the, how? I don't get it, I don't understand. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Is it like is it like a huge plastic thing? Take key from Hank's desk. No, what the Perkins, you Hank doesn't fuck around, that's great!